Well, it's going to welcome you with a, 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 a saying that we do here during Stampede all the time. Yeah! So <laughs> thanks everybody for joining us. That, that, that's a Yahoo, not a Yeehaw. Um, so thank you for um, joining this webinar on the greatest outdoor show on earth, otherwise known as the Calgary Stampede. And the countdown is on, Stampede is coming, and um, we are getting excited. So there are the dates for this year's Stampede for 2017, July 7th to 16th. It's always 10 days, it's always in July, um, starting on a Friday. So here is the poster for this year's Stampede, and um, this is a special year in Canada. It's Canada's 150th birthday, and so across Canada we'll be celebrating that. Um, Canada Day is July 1st in Canada, so Stampede is um, starting very, very um, close to just after we're celebrating Canada Day, so it's very close to all the, the highlight of the, the pinnacle of the celebrations. Our poster here is sort of a throwback to the days when the West was settled and um, these heavy draft horses that were an integral part of settling the West. Stampede started in 1912 and um, it has been going now for 105 years. So Canada celebrating 150 and Calgary Stampede this year will be celebrating 105. So it's been in the same spot that the Stampede um, was in originally in 1912, and the city of Calgary really has just grown up all around um, Stampede Park. But these are some archival photos back in the day. And um, this will be us celebrating our 150th birthday this year. We have a travel trade planning guide, and on the cover there we've put um, one of the uh, flag girls with the Canadian flags at the grand entry of rodeo. That happens every afternoon. And um, this document here has information on the Stampede, including um, ticket rate information, um, but just a whole lot of uh, information on the ICON events and, and all the other activities that go on during the 10 days. So if you would like a travel trade planning guide, um, we'll have a slide coming up here with our email addresses. And you can email Sally and she can email a copy of this out to you. On the bottom there, you'll notice of the document the dates for the next three stampedes. So there's 2017, 2018, and 2019 um, all listed right there. So uh, without further ado, that is Sally and myself. <laughs> and uh, we, again, just want to thank you for, for taking your time, the time to, uh, to join us today. So there's Sally's email um, down below and, and my email up top if you have any questions. Um, please let us know. We're happy to help you with your itinerary planning, any questions you may have on the Stampede, or if you're coming to Stampede yourselves, please let us know and we'll um, be happy to provide you with um, rodeo and evening show tickets. So Stampede um, starts off with a free pancake breakfast, and these happen downtown. So if you're staying in one of the downtown properties, you'll be able to virtually walk to this pancake breakfast. It takes place right across from City Hall, and uh, we do this every day during Stampede. We don't do it downtown on parade day or the two Sundays of Stampede, but the shopping malls do pick up those days and do pancake breakfasts all around the city. Um, but these breakfasts are always free, uh, free and flat, as we like to say. And uh, it's a great way to get some carbs into you early in the morning with uh, some traditional Canadian maple syrup. So here's an aerial shot of Stampede Park. So you can see uh, how close it is to the downtown of Calgary and uh, also the river that runs around is um, the Elbow River, here it is here with my mouth, running around three sides of our park and then that Elbow River flows down here and joins up with the Bow River, um, which is a larger river running through. So we have two rivers running through Calgary and Calgary was settled by the RCMP or the Northwest Mounted Police as they were called back then. And just over um, off screen here is Fort Calgary, where the RCMP built their outpost. And it is still an attraction that you can go see today. So Stampede Park is all this area here. So it's a large, large space. In fact, it extends all the way down here. And then we've got some back of house facilities back here as well. So right um, in the central part of the picture, I'll focus on this area. We've got our grandstand. 
that seats 20,000 tickets. So these are reserved seat tickets for rodeo in the afternoon and then the evening show, which takes place every evening um, starting at 8 o'clock. I'll give you a little bit more information on that on a, a few more slides. But the rodeo, just to show you, takes place right here in front of the grandstand. So this is the rodeo infield. So all the action is taking place right in front of the grandstand. Um, for the evening show, the chuck wagon races, they start in the um, infield area here and they go around the track one time. There are nine races with four chuck wagons in each race. Um, obviously for the evening show, these um, grandstands here are taken away to um, clear the whole track. Right after the last chuck wagon, Check Wagon Races goes at night. We have a 90-minute grandstand stage show on this permanent stage right in front of the grandstand here. We have the mobile stage tucked away over here, and after the last race, it'll come down the track and it'll affix to this permanent stage, and that's where we have the spectacular grandstand show, and I'll show you a few pictures a little bit later on on that. A couple other things I just wanted to point out on this slide are the light rail transit, the train stations. One train station right here called Victoria Stampede. The second one is right down here called Earlton Stampede. So these two trains are the best way to get to Stampede Park. So even if you're coming from downtown, which is also just a short walk, but you can take that train. Or if you're staying in a hotel that goes off towards the airport, the northeast part of Calgary, um, or down this way up towards the university, or down in the southern part of the city where we have hotels as well, all connected on this train. We call it the C train, Calgary train, or LRT, light rail transit. It's above ground. It runs 24 hours a day um, during peak times every five minutes. It's very clean. It's very safe. It's the best way to get around. You really don't need to rent a car for the two days that you would do um, the Calgary Stampede. I just want to also mention we do also have Uber um, here in Calgary as well. So Stampede, as I said before, kicks off of the big parade. It's called Parade Day and it goes downtown. So not on Stampede Park, but get through the downtown core. 400,000 people line the parade route to watch the parade. It starts at 9 a.m. and it goes for two hours to 11. And we were really happy in uh, 2011 when we had uh, Prince William and Kate um, here at the Stampede and they um, and took in the parade and, and, a, and a bit of the Stampede and kicked it off for us. That was the year they, um, they got married. So it was only a couple of months after they got married. So the parade um, has over 700 horses in it. It has um, all the five tribes of the Treaty 7 that are represented in the village and a very, very colorful event. And we do have a parade day package that you can get a reserved seat in a, in a grandstand along the route and then a rodeo ticket for that afternoon. So the afternoon rodeo, that is the icon event of the Calgary Stampede. And we've had rodeo at the Stampede since it started in 1912. And we have six different rodeo events. And so they're all pictured here, um, bareback, saddle bronc, ladies barrel racing, tie down roping, steer wrestling, and of course the crown jewel of the rodeo, which is the bull riding event here. Um, so, you know, eight seconds maybe doesn't sound like a lot to stay on these bucking horses and bulls, but, you know, believe me, that, that's a hard day at the office for these guys, but it's worth it. Uh, they're making, um, they're competing for $2 million in prize money. So the prize money is equal for all six events, so including la ladies barrel racing here. And um, it's, a, it's a, a great afternoon of entertainment, even if you know nothing about rodeo, doesn't matter, just, you know, come and sit and watch the event. There's rodeo announcers explaining everything that's going on, video screens, it moves very, very fast, very fast paced. Um, and that goes every afternoon from 1.30 to 4 o'clock daily. So in the evening, I mentioned we have the evening show, which is actually two events combined onto one ticket. So first off, we have the chuck wagon races starting at 8 o'clock. And as I mentioned, we have nine races. This picture at the bottom, you can see four chuck wagons in each race coming around the, the final turn here. And each horse or each wagon has four horses. 
and then there are two outriders per wagon following along behind. So this fort you're only going to find in Alberta. It's very unique to our part of the world. Um, these were the cook wagons. Chuck means food in cowboy terminology. So these were the cook wagons out on the prairies feeding the cowboys who were there with the herds of cattle. They'd race to the next campsite to set up, and that's how chuck wagon racing um, began. And it first appeared at the Stampede in 1923. Right after the ninth chuck wagon race, we could kind of go seamlessly right into the grandstand show. And this is a 90-minute show. Um, it's very colorful, very spectacular. Um, usually always uh, we build in a First Nation celebration component to the show. This year we'll be celebrating Canada's 150th. The show is called Together. And uh, it will be very Canadiana, lots of great um, songs, music, images of Canada throughout the show. It doesn't get dark in July till well after 10 o'clock at night. So the chuck wagons will, will end at about 9.30, quarter to 10. Then the grandstand show will kind of seamlessly go in and, and um, transition and start at about 10 o'clock. And uh, the show will go for about 90 minutes. And as it gradually gets darker in Calgary, the fireworks are incorporated into the show. And these are spectacular fireworks. You can see them from all over the city. And um, of course, the best vantage is when you're sitting in the grandstand watching the show. Music is a big part of the Stampede. We're one of the largest music festivals in Canada. And not just country music, but uh, all kinds of music you'll find at the Stampede. And a lot of it is free with that admission into Stampede Park. Um, Coke Stage, for instance, has uh, performers and headliners at night. Um, mostly pop, rock, um, top 40. And Nashville North is featuring our Canadian country music talent. And if you were at um, corroboree that just came through Australia, the road show that Destination Canada puts on. Um, I was down there with this fellow. Um, this is Trevor Panzak, and he is a authentic Canadian country singer from Lethbridge, Alberta. He's had a long history at the Stampede, winning the Youth Talent Contest here that launched his career. And uh, that is a true blue six foot five cowboy right there for you. So come up to Stampede and see see Trevor. Um, Indian Village, this is another part of the Stampede that's been part of the Stampede right from the very beginning in 1912. Last year we moved the Indian Village to a new location um, that you see here in this picture here. And it's quite a dramatic setting because there's the village encampment with the 26 teepees in that perfect circle. There are five different tribes represented in there. And these families have participated in the Stampede since 1912. So it's been handed down from generation to generation, um, the, kind of the same families representing um, with their teepees. You can go inside the teepees and see their, um, how they lived back in the day, lots of artifacts. They'll have uh, traditional ceremonial dress. There's dance powwow competitions every afternoon, uh, food uh, cooking demonstrations, storytelling, and a First Nation guide can guide you through the village for free and um, tell you everything that's going on there. I just like the contrast of kind of the teepees back in the day with the modern uh, city in, in the background there. So agriculture is a big part of the Stampede. Um, you know, we love our horses and our livestock. Um, outside Calgary and Edmonton, the major cities in Alberta, we are very much um, um, farming and agriculture uh, country still today. We export Alberta beef all over the world. And of course, Alberta beef is featured at the Calgary Stampede. Um, and agriculture is a great zone at the Stampede where all the activities are free with the admission. So there's lots and lots of things going on that you can uh, join in on. And one of my favorite parts of the Calgary Stampede. Down here we have Draft Horse Town with the big heavy draft horses. And um, you can go over there and learn to braid a horse's tail or try your hand at blacksmithing. One of my favorites. Here's another favorite, especially Sally. Sally loves this part of Stampede. And these are the fun foods. And every year we have about 30 to 35 new fun foods at the Stampede. And we work with our food vendors and um, they, they come up with ideas for new fun foods and we give them suggestions and it's a collaboration. And so that results in things like scorpion pizza, um, deep fried sushi, 
And what else do we have here? Colossal onion. That gives you colossal onion breath, I might add. Um, deep fried butter. Interesting, but not one of my favorites. Deep fried Cheetos. Uh, red velvet mini donuts. Deep fried cookie dough. Deep fried bubble gum. That was interesting. Um, uh, what are these? Potato chips. Uh, tornado, tornado chips. chips. Oh, they're on a stick, deep fried. And of course, one of our favorites, deep fried Oreos. And uh, that's here every year and, and a perennial favorite. So we'll launch our new foods sometime in early May. And uh, there's always some, some crazy new concoction on there to try. Shopping is a big part of Stampede. We have no provincial sales tax in the province of Alberta. We're the only province in Canada that does not add um, a provincial sales tax on top of goods and services. So you can shop more when you're in Alberta. So at Stampede, we have lots of things that you can buy, cowboy boots. Um, you can cowboy right up and, and just get in the theme of the event. And uh, lots of souvenirs to take in as well. Lamley's is our official supplier at the Stampede, and our, actually our store is open all year round, not just during the 10 days. So, um, you know, I'm a horse person, and so I kind of appreciate this funny little slide here. And uh, just wanted to say how much Alberta is Mecca if you love horses. Um, this is the place you want to be, especially in July. Uh, not only the Calgary Stampede, but Spruce Meadows has their show jumping um, competition on, the North American show jumping. Uh, championships is on the first few days of Stampede as well. Of course, you know, Outback uh, Trail Rides and BAP, BAP Trail Rides, or, uh, BAP Trail Riders, and also, you know, many other places to go and uh, uh, fulfill your dream of being a cowboy or cowgirl. So uh, you really want to come to Alberta and delight and experience and, and sort of get that, that horse love. Um, here's some, uh, oh, the Stampede Royalty, and these are the ladies I'll be taking with me to Germany next week. Um, we have the Stampede Queen and her two princesses, and of course in the middle there we have the lovely Savannah Sparvier, who's the 2017 um, Indian Village Princess, so she represents that Indian Village and the Treaty 7, and they, they reign for an entire year and represent the Stampede around the world and at different rodeos, and uh, yeah, it's some, you know just great to see uh, who comes in and, and watch them develop over the years. Uh, last year I brought the Indian princess with me to Corroboree. Here is just a slide on some premium seating that we have at Stampede or if you have a mice group or incentive group. Um, the slide on the left is during the 10-day event. This is called the Lazy S. You have an assigned seat with a three-course meal and a great viewing area to watch the event, either roadie or evening show, and then a private club in the back here um, that's exclusive as, uh, for that group as well. We have the largest convention center in Calgary and called the BMO Center. So we do uh, meetings and conventions year-round. We also have a casino, Cowboys Casino, that's year-round. The Agri and Western Event Center where we do um, events year-round, including indoor rodeos for convention groups. And of course, uh, the Saddle Dome is where the hockey team plays, the Calgary Flames. How are they doing this season? Do we know that? Are they doing now? Yeah. I haven't been following for a little while. So here's a couple of packages that we just want to explain about. Um, we encourage two days, at least, at the Calgary Stampede. So these packages are packaged up as two days. So the two-day thrill is probably the, the more premium of the two packages. Uh, in the next slide, we'll show you where those seats are. Um, Chaps and Chucks also is two days. Each one of these packages include a rodeo and an evening show ticket, and then some souvenir items um, as well. And they kind of differ a little bit amongst the package. But just want to point out on the two-day thrill package, we have changed one component, and that is adding a white cowboy hat instead of uh, a golf shirt. It used to be a golf shirt in the past and now um, a cowboy hat. So they'll get the vouchers inside this booklet and they redeem for things like the cowboy hats, the souvenir programs, the sky rides across the park, or in the case of Chaps and Chucks, uh, food vouchers. So here's a, a diagram and also a photograph of the grandstand just so you can sort of see close up what that looks like. So as I mentioned before, this is about 20,000 seats in this grandstand here. Um, here's the diagram above it showing where the seats would be for the packages. And here's the little um, legend over here telling you what the colors stand for. So Chaps and Chucks, 
for rodeo and evening show, it would be in either one of these sections, north or south end. For two-day thrill, rodeo, you'd be right down front, level one, either the north or south. But for the evening show, you'd be up higher on level five in these areas here for the chuck wagon races and the grandstand show. And you can see that these are really, really um, great vantage points to see right down on the grandstand show because you know, with all the fireworks going off, that'll be right, right in front of you. And then the chuck wagon race is going around the track. You'll be able to see the whole track from this higher vantage point. So two-day throw um, are the premium or the best two-day packages. And if you have a lower price point, um, go with chaps and chucks. The last couple of slides really are just a few uh, little tips. Um, one of the things about Stampede is it's great to cowboy up, and really all you need to do is put a cowboy hat on to do that. But if you want to go, you know, the whole thing and, and do the cowboy boots and everything, that's great. Um, just maybe break your boots in before you come down or just wear comfortable footwear because Stampede Park is, is a large area and you just want your, your feet to be happy and you don't want your dogs barking. I think that, that might be a Canadian expression, but when your feet hurt, you say, my dogs are barking. So you don't want your dogs barking. Um, parking, we covered that a little bit. Best thing to do is take the C train. Um, you can purchase transit passes in advance, um, or they're available really anywhere in any convenience store um, throughout the city. Two days is what we recommend to do Stampede, at least. Um, welcome to stay longer, but two days will give you sort of a good kind of overview of the events. Cowboy hats, just got to put a lid on it to I, you know, keep in with how everybody else is dressed in Calgary at that time. Uh, Got to take in those pancakes and orange juice at the breakfast. Uh, no PST there is, oops, that's, uh, that's not right. The euro is about on par um, with the um, Australian dollar right now, so that's pretty great. Uh, we're the sunniest city in, Cal in Canada. Calgary gets more uh, sunshine hours than any other city in Canada. Even in winter when it's cold out, we usually have a, a, a blue, blue sky. And uh, hotel rooms, about 40% of the hotel inventory is downtown. Um, the majority is actually northeast up towards the airport. So if you can't find what you want downtown, please keep looking and uh, know that we have a lot of uh, hotels throughout the city and have had a lot of new hotels open up in the last two, three years. Calgary International Airport, YYC, is just about 20 minutes from downtown and Stampede Park. And uh, the Rocky Mountains are only about um, an hour and 15 minute drive from Calgary. So. You know, if you're, you're hoping to get into the park and haven't booked it yet, um, because it, they're going to have a spectacular season, and I'm sure they're, they're kind of booked up by now or, or getting there, um, you know, consider Calgary for your base, for your hub and spoke. Um, it's a great place to base yourself and do those day trips out of Calgary to the mountains, to Kananaskis, um, south of Calgary to see Head Smashed In or Bar U, or go east of Calgary and see Terrell Museum. Uh, Dinosaur Provincial Park, um, fantastic. Wanted to just say um, Australia is tied with the UK for our number one overseas market. And uh, considering the population in the UK, Australia would be number one per capita. So we really appreciate um, all your assistance, your support, your visitation. When you're at the rodeo and the rodeo announcer says, any Aussies out there, we hear we hear the Aussie, 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 <laughs> oi, 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 in, in large numbers. So it's always great to hear that every year. So last slide here, we just want to say stay connected. There's our social media outlets. Um, please follow along with us and, and uh, um, keep up with what's going on with Stampede. Between now and July, there'll be lots of new things um, listed um, programming-wise, new foods, new entertainment. Um, as we announce it, it gets posted onto our website. Or if you sign up for the Insider, um, if you go to our website, there is a Stampede Insider that will give you uh, sort of the jump on that kind of news as well. So I think that, oh, yeah, we'll stay on that good looking cowboy there because why not? Uh, <laughs> so if we've got any questions, we can certainly take questions at this time. Sally and I are happy to help you out. Um, I might. Maybe you should go back to that slide with our email addresses on it. So just in case you missed our email, 
addresses and want to send us an email or um, get that travel trade planning guide that I mentioned earlier, um, there's our email addresses there and we're happy to, happy to send you a copy along. Thanks, ladies. Well, hello, Charlie. Hello. Thank you so much for that. Great, great You're update. Welcome. And uh, see what's going on in, in 2017. So I haven't got any questions. I've got a few comments here that I scribbled down. Um, but if anybody does have any questions, please type them into the chat box now. And uh, we'll ask the ladies, ask away. Um, so yeah, the travel trade planner, that sounds great. So hopefully everyone will be emailing you for one of those. Um, super helpful for helping clients. Yeah, and our clients. twenty our twenty eighteen rate should be um, should be out tomorrow. Actually, the ticket office told us March first, so uh, tomorrow oh, wow. will be March first here in Calgary. So we will have twenty eighteen rates. So, yeah, so you uh, start planning ahead for next year as well. That's awesome. Start planning. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, actually, Julie has just said, how far in advance should we book for twenty eighteen? For twenty eighteen. Um, we go on sale with our tickets in October uh, every year. So that's when it's loaded into our, our system and, and um, goes on sale to public. Travel Trade will put in their orders um, and we'll roll over a lot of their accounts, like the bigger, the bigger accounts, just get rolled over and, and then we'll just send out a confirmation to them that we've rebooked their ticket block. Um, it's really easy to book tickets with us, no deposits required. So from on sale in October right up until the middle of May, you can hold your ticket block with no deposit um, and then just pay in full after that point, which is, you know, just a little more than a month out from Stampede. Um, do really encourage you to use your preferred wholesaler in Australia. We're carried by almost all the, the big wholesalers down there and, um, you know, packaging up uh, is the way to go because then it's your ticket package, your hotel, kind of all one-stop shopping. Um, you know, with the tickets, it's it's probably the easier thing. It used to be hotels were a little bit harder, but as I say, we've um, opened up so many new hotels, it's increased the inventory by 25% just in the last couple of years. So, um, so you know, really hotels, even right up until the last minute, you could, you could now find a hotel. It may not be downtown, but, you know, we're right in the center of Calgary. So that C train, you're connected 20 minutes any way you go in Calgary. Great, thank you. Um, yeah, great for mentioning the preferred wholesalers because Jess did, has asked what's the best way for us to book packages. And yeah, Jess, like Lindsay said, um, pretty much all, all of the Canadian or Australian Canadian wholesalers do sell those, those stampede packages. So just get in touch with your preferred. Uh, Judy says, great information once again. We were at the Corroboree in Brisbane. Woo, this is good follow up. <laughs> Brisbane. Hi, Judy. <laughs> so you Great. saw Trevor then. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, you saw Trevor up there. Do you know he, he wore his cowboy boots and hats the whole entire time in Australia? Even we were in Sydney and it was 42 degrees. I mean, he, cowboy, he cowboyed up real time. I was impressed. Jeans, cowboy That's boots, dedication. cowboy hats. <laughs> I know. I said to him, you know, Trevor, oh you, don't have to, you don't have to do that yeah. all the time. Just like when we're at the show and he's like, but this is how I dress. <laughs> <laughs> like Trevor, put your thongs on and and get out there. Yeah, yeah, he <laughs> oh, that's was, funny. He's dedicated. Yeah. Oh, he was fantastic. He was really fantastic. Yeah, he was. Um, he's good fun, you know. And he's uh, what you see with Trevor is is the real Trevor. He's um, genuine, genuine article, real cowboy, real gentleman yeah, cowboy. Cool. Yeah, definitely a gentleman. Um, <laughs> Julie also says, what about for hotels? So I guess she's talking about 2018. How far in advance would you recommend booking for hotels? Right. Um, you know, if you know you're coming, um, it's, it's just always good to put in your request um, and, and block your hotel. Um, and as they said, 40% of the hotel inventory is in the downtown core. Most of those hotels uh, you, can, you can walk to, to Stampede Park. and. Um, if not, that C train brings you to two stops right at our door. So, you know, hotel will definitely book up first and then, you know, hotels around the other parts of the city will, will then book. But 
they're all connected by that C train, and many hotels will run shuttles um, from their hotel to the C, C train station just to make it even easier. And, um, you know, that way you can come down to the park and you can have some beverages and, you know, not worrying about parking or, or driving. But, um, yeah, lots of hotel options. We've got all the majors, you know, the Fairmont, Sheraton, Hyatt, um, Westin, um, Sandman, Hilton, Hilton Garden Inn, Marriott, lots of choice. Thank you. I do um, have to say the hotels in Calgary are pretty, um, you know, because we're a corporate a corporate town here with being headquarters for oil and gas in Canada, the, the hotels are all really quite nice in Calgary. I mean, most of them have been renovated, you know, at some point or, or, or just like they kept up. And, um, you know, they're a good size, and, um, and the rooms are really nice, I have to say. Great. Thanks, Lindsay. Julie says thank you. And uh, Jess says thank you very much. Great webinar. Thanks, Jess. I think that's all the questions. If anybody else has anything else, please send it through. What was on my notes? Oh, I love that. Um, the aerial picture you have of Stampede Park, I think that's super helpful yeah, for just getting your head too. around where everything is. If you need that picture, we're happy to send it to you. Um, two years ago at Stampede, we had this crazy lunatic guy who thought, I'm going to put balloons on my lawn chair and fly over Stampede Park. And of course, well, that didn't go well for him. But, um, but now I kind of pull up that picture, I always think, well, maybe that's the balloon guy's bird's eye view of Stampede Park. <laughs> Go try that at home, kids. <laughs> yeah, no, don't, don't try that one. Don't try that at um, all. <laughs> what else did I write down? Oh, scorpion pizza. I'm not sure about that. I definitely love the uh, deep fried Oreos, but I don't know if I could do yeah, a scorpion pizza. It was a bit fear factor pizza, I think, that people yeah. were kind of like bought it because, oh, you got to try the scorpion pizza. Um, <laughs> We the year after that we had cockroach pizza, um, oh, but they no. actually so we were supposed to have cockroach pizza and they got held up at the U.S. border, so um, <laughs> they didn't they didn't make it up. But <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> I don't know, I why, why would you? Yeah, why would you do that? <laughs> I don't know. I guess they get to stay down there with Donald Trump now. We don't get to come <laughs> yeah, exactly. Canada. You can stay there. <laughs> <laughs> but every year there's there's every year we have cricket pizza. I think we've got yeah, cricket yeah. pizza. Yeah. Well, oh, that's a bit more kind of yeah. How about mac and cheese one? pizza? Mac and Ooh, cheese yeah, pizza, that Charlie. Good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's good, right? Making me hungry. Let, we'll sign off now, and uh, might be time for some morning tea. <laughs> <laughs> time for dinner here. Yeah, time for dinner. That's it. Um, all right, well, thank you, ladies. We'll let you get to your dinner, and thank everybody else for joining us. I um, hope thank you enjoyed you. this webinar and this update with the lovely ladies from the Calgary Stampede, and I hope to see you next time. That sounds great.